<laughs> well, I, I, I think, uh, I think we can restructure, we can reorganize. Yes, yes, it's a possibility. But first, you know what we're going to do? We are going to celebrate. Oh, the man who hates parties you want to celebrate? Not now. Let's, let's call Jack. Let's get, call Jack. We're going to get Marissa. Hell, we can even take Pete's portrait out for a round. <laughs> I'd like nothing better, really. I um, I just really need to go see Kendall first, okay? So, uh, why don't you take a victory lap for me, all right? And then uh, we'll celebrate when the dust settles. It's a date. Uh, congratulations again. Palmer would be so proud of you. I know I am. Liza, your office, uh... Well, they told me I might find you here. Do you have a moment? Actually, is this about Erica? As a matter of fact, it is. Oh. Well, then you've just saved me a phone call. Yeah, I wasn't trying to pry. You know, I just saw how happy you were. I'm not supposed to be happy, or laugh, or live my own life. I was just wondering. Are you seeing someone? We each have our own lives, JR. I won't ask you questions. You don't ask me. All right. Fair enough. Thank you. What if it affects AJ? If what affects AJ? A man in your life. If something's going to affect AJ, I'll let you know. All right. Great. Okay, I should go. But are you? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Thank you for lunch. And for not racing me through the stores. I had a good time. I will see you Christmas. Yes, you will. So, Madison's going somewhere? She didn't tell you? No, she, she didn't. I mean, I know... She's very hurt from the breakup, but I had no idea that she was going to be taken off someplace. Brian, you broke her heart. Everywhere she turns, there you are, with Greenlee, happy, in love, right in her face, reminding her of what she had. If there's a way that I could go back and I could fix it, you know, for her and for you. I know. But you can't. You just can't. Still gonna be around though. You know, I mean, Spike. Yeah, I, I know. You're an amazing father, and you can see him whenever you want. God knows he's gonna need you now more than ever. What about Christmas? I told you, we'll do Christmas for Spike. Kendall. I know you're hurting right now, but please, please, Ryan, don't, Ryan, sh don't shut me out, okay? Ryan, please, please, I need you to accept this. make up for all the horrible things you've done to me. I'm sure you won't mind if I borrow one little thing. Yes. 
so sorry. I was just uh, logging into my hospital email account. Of course, I'm just following protocol, patient confidentiality, and HIPAA laws. I understand you're very conscientious, but it's not like I can even access patient records without a doctor's password, which I obviously don't have. <laughs> so. I'll leave you to it. Let's just hope they haven't erased your password. hospital business. You say goodbye to Dad? Yeah, I did. I did, and I made sure that his staff knows that Liza is his decision maker now. You okay? Yeah, I finally feel free. It's in my past, or, or it will be completely when the divorce is final. Oh, well, you took a big step today. Mm -hmm. What do you say I take you out to dinner and we celebrate a little bit? I'd love to, but with everything that's going on, I kind of ignored my hospital duties. I have, like, a zillion emails to go through. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you know, don't work too hard. Okay. And don't forget that you got a tree full of surprises. Oh, believe me. I won't. <laughs> okay. Listen. Set up the trains. Yeah, I had a little help. Spike loves it. I know. <laughs> and I also um, remember how much he loves the little Santas and his stockings. I've been busy. Well, of course you have, honey. And then there's still plenty of time to decorate. Well, uh, you're so calm. Well, why wouldn't I be? David, the charges? Nothing's been filed. But if something is? I am in such good hands with Caleb and Jack. They're doing such a good job. I have complete faith in them. I want to help you. There's nothing you can do, sweetheart. Really, I want you to put this all out of your head now. It's time to focus on what's really important. Christmas is around the corner. And after that, we have a wedding to plan. Well, hello. I didn't think you were ever gonna get here. Thought maybe Marissa made you stay for dessert. I got here as quickly as I could. And crystals? Crystals of all places you had to take her there? I mean, I, I could hardly eat. You know, Annie, if I would have known you had been there, I would have taken Marissa anywhere else. I know there's a reason behind all this, but it sure looked like the two of you were having fun. I wanted to be there with you. Then why did it look like you and Marissa were the couple? You know better than that. We are not. I am trying. I really thought I could do this, and I am really, really trying. But having to hide out, pretend like there's nothing going on between us, I hate it. I hate it, too, but it's just until AJ's custody well, is resolved. When is that going to happen, JR? Let's hope before he's 16. Oh, my God. You, you are so adorable. Adorable? I don't feel adorable right now. I feel like a trashy mistress that you are stashing away from the world while you go out and live your no, life. don't. Don't ever say that. You know how much you mean to me. Temporary, you know that. I can't wait for the day when I can have the most beautiful woman in Pine Valley on my arm for everyone to see. Yeah, unless I shrivel up in here in the dark while you're out on the town with Marissa. That's me trying for AJ's sake. And this is me wanting you. Are we good? Yes, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're fine. This is just hard. This is really hard. It's hard for me not to scream out to the world. I love you. Because I do love you. Need the Christmas tree, of course, and just a few decorations. The stockings, the boy stockings. We'll do it together. 
You and me and Bianca. We're the children. I just, I want the hard part to be over. I know. I know. And what if I'm not strong enough? I don't know. Maybe this cane strength I'm supposed to have has been completely sucked out of me. Because I'm not seeing a bright side. I don't see how tomorrow will bring me any less pain than I have today. No. But we will get through this. I promise. He's still alive. No, we are not going to talk about David um, anymore. I, I can't. I can't help thinking about him. Oh, I'll get it. Hi. Hi, Kendall. I talked to Liza. She's bringing charges. Attempted murder. Hey, is this seat taken? What are you doing here? I uh, came to talk to you. Well, I'm pretty talked out. I thought we were going to keep a distance. Kendall told me that you were thinking of taking off. She should not have said anything. So it's true. For how long? I don't know. Don't go, Madison. I really don't think that's your call. Look, you're 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 hurt, and I'm I'm so sorry about that. I I am, but I mean, don't 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 leave. Really, I'm serious. You got connections here. You got people that love you here. I, I can't take this anymore. Oh my God. Since pregnant?